And obviously wasn't the result you wanted at Kansas City, but um, now you guys have a chance to turn it around and come back home. I mean, how obviously there's plenty of games left, but how important is it to get a result, especially where when you look at the standings and you look where Kansas City is um, this weekend? Yeah, it's every game's important. You got 11 left, and that's you know 33 points. So it's a lot of points, but I think it's more from the standpoint of momentum that it's important. Obviously, the points are important because it puts you potentially above the red line depending on the other results but I think it's about kind of you know getting a little bit of momentum and you know not letting Kansas City um, start to distance themselves too much because you know look at it right now you got Vancouver uh, who's in within touching distance and you got a couple other teams that that are you know four points and so you know if if we don't get the result then now all of a sudden Kansas City starts to distance themselves and you know, we don't want that to happen because ultimately we want to get in the playoffs, but we want to, you know, try to get the highest seed possible. You guys have had some good performances lately. It's really been the finishing that hasn't fallen. I mean, is it just kind of one of those things where you have to just keep going at it, or is there anything you guys been able to work on to? Yeah, no. I mean, it's you know, it's uh, it's a little bit. I think this game, you know, you go through periods where the ball's not falling. Um, every team goes through it. Every player goes through it. Um, but, you know, I'll say last game we scored, still scored two goals, you know, so it's hard to nitpick uh, last game, the, the CCL game, because we still scored two goals. Um, but certainly before that, the, the KC game, the amount of chances we had, we, we, we should have at least gotten a draw uh, with the chances we had. So, um, but we have a the quality there, and I'm confident that if we continue to get those chances that, that we'll score. Um, can, I think there's a game coming up where we're going to score, score big, coming up. With um, some of the injuries, um, can we go through them? Is Liam going to be ready for the game? Uh, unlikely, because uh, he had somewhat of a setback. So uh, uh, it's looking unlikely that he'll be available. But you never know. He's going to do a little bit today, and um, you know, on the. Um, forget the treadmill where they take the weight off. I can't remember the name of it right now, sorry. Um, so he'll do a little bit today on that um, with, with some body weight reduced to see how he feels. And then, uh, you know, we'll see tomorrow. But uh, yeah, a little, little bit of a slight, not major setback, but a little bit of a slight setback when he was working on the pitch where it kind of grabbed on him again, the calf. It's essentially just like a sore calf that's nagging. Calf strain. Yeah, it's a calf strain, you know, so he strained his calf. Originally we thought, you know, seven to ten days and, you know, had a slight when he was getting close to that, you know, seven to ten days. Probably because, you know, we're trying to figure out if he's going to be, you know, in the all-star and they want him in there and, you know, we're thinking do we try to push him in there and, you know, so honestly that didn't help, you know. So, you know, we, we get him on the pitch and and try to, you know, see if we can get him in there and next thing you know he has a little bit of a setback which probably set him back a week. Um, and then Valentin and Zemanski are still out for the week. Yeah least. I mean Zarek has a bone bruise so it's better than we thought. Um, you know so we're looking at probably two weeks with him and Zemanski has a groin strain so we're you know looking at you know probably two to three weeks. And then uh, in the game on uh, Wednesday, I mean, there's a lot of players getting knocked around. Is everyone else healthy or is there anyone else I'm missing? Yeah, no new new injuries, so that's good. Uh, Maddox looks is looking good. He'll probably be back next week in training. Uh, Steven Taylor um, has progressed. He's going to play uh, 45 minutes or more uh, in the T2 game uh, tomorrow. And he's gotten his visa, so he's, he's clear there, but he'll fly directly uh, you know, from Vancouver to LA to play uh, 45 minutes, maybe more. We have a target for his load, what we want. So depending on the game, it could be more than 45 minutes. But he's progressing. We're hoping, you know, next week maybe. But you know, probably looking at that Seattle as a target for him to to start and play 90. We'll see. Um, so, so yeah. I mean, we lose a couple guys in Ben and Zarek, and we don't get any new guys back uh, this week, which is why we had 17 players on the bench for the. CCL game and that'll probably be the case for this game you know as well. 
I mean, it's. We, I feel like we asked you this all the time, but it's this point in the season, and the injuries are still a massive factor. I mean, have you, have you ever had a season like this? No, no. I, you know, obviously, I've been. Like, this is the 16th season that I've coached as assistant or head coach, and there's always injuries. Um, you know, you usually have a couple uh, that you manage, and but I've never had this many injuries in one season. Uh, where guys have missed the amount of games, starting players have missed the amount of games that that they've missed. You know, Ridgey's obviously been a big one. You know, he's our captain, central defender. You know, games are won and lost in the boxes, and a lot of times your defenders in those moments, um, if they're not making plays, then then you lose games. And we've certainly lost a lot of points because he hasn't been in. You know, Nagby missing six games didn't help. You know, Valeri missing four. You know, four or five, I forget hasn't helped Alvis as well and you know and it also hasn't helped the, the chemistry and continuity as well because when you when you have chop, guys chopping and adding you know you lose those connections but I think we still played really well especially in this this last third of the season you know I think we've, we've been really good in terms of uh, if you look overall obviously result wise the last two but prior to that you know results were good I think even in the last two the the form has been good um, you know we're defending well and we're managing it, um, so hasn't been ideal. It's definitely been a factor, but we'll continue to not make excuses about it. We'll continue to plug guys in, and you know you saw that in the Kansas City game, which your man and will be in. Our organization was very good until they scored the goal. Um, really, outside the 10-minute period, after that, you know we were very good. You know, but you know I thought we crumbled a little bit after that goal for 10 minutes or so, and and we recovered and actually should have gotten the draw. But uh, first goal is massive. That's it's always important, and you know they they got the first goal, and, and certainly that was the fact that was the the biggest factor in the game. And then last thing, I mean, you mentioned that Vitez is probably going to start on Sunday. How does that kind of change um, what you guys can do uh, getting him on the field for this MLS game? Yeah, it's huge because you know all of a sudden now we get width out of our outside backs in the attack, and and uh, when you can get width out of your outside backs. Um, Get service on your outside backs. Uh, you're less predictable, and now we have ch two channels that teams need to be aware of. And now we can do different things with our wingers because uh, when you're getting width out of your outside backs, you don't need to rely on width out of your wingers quite as much. And when you start to get movement more from your wingers versus staying in, you know, the channels, then it makes it, you know, a little more, a little bit more difficult for the opponent to manage that movement. Um, so. You know, I think it gives us just a lot more uh, flexibility, and it gives us, um, you know, more crosses, and it gives us the ability to move guys around a little bit and, and experiment perhaps with different systems. Um, so, you know, we'll we'll look at uh, uh, the group healthy. We'll look at KC like always. We'll look at the last game, which you have, and we'll roll out a plan like we always do uh, to win the game. Uh, which, which will include a lineup, which will include a system and a plan to try to win the game.